Hey, what's up, everyone? Sunday, August 2nd. Um, it is 11 o'clock here on the East Coast in the United States. Today, I'm going to do something different. Um, the Vita Show is quite bland. It only has two themes to be used with uh, Vita Show when you use it to transfer files back and forth. So I decided to search the web, found a file uh, with a bunch of themes, and I'm going to link the description down below, as always. I'm going to show you how to set this up. Um, there's 18 folders within this one, uh, was it dot .zip file? Yes, dot, dot .zip file. And, uh, I'll show you every single theme that's in there. Um, and we'll go from there and hopefully you, you guys will enjoy this video. This is the website. Well, that was the website. Um, it will be linked down below. Those are the themes that I downloaded earlier. So, this is the website. It's a nice website, too. Um, you could use, you could download the Vita Shell themes, or you could download um, the Live Area themes. So, it's like the custom theme um, video that I made earlier this year. Um, you could download um, Live Area themes, too. It's up to you. So, we're going to go to the Vita Shell themes this time around, since I already did the um, Live Area one theme before. There's some great looking themes. Then there's some really not great looking themes, like there's too much going on um, in the picture and stuff like that. You'll you'll see once you uh, once you stick with the video and stuff like that. That looks nice. The black dark dark colors look always nice. If it's too bright, it just it's not. I don't like it. It hurts my eyes. And I'm trying to figure out what's so great about like anime. I'm not a fan. Well, I don't know anything about it. I should say, you know. These pictures look realistic, too. Somewhat realistic, I guess. But I don't get the whole anime type thing with girls with huge racks and stuff like that. I mean, I'm not appealing it. I mean, who doesn't like a chick with a big rack? But cartoon? I don't know if you're supposed to say cartoon. They're anime. But see, this is a little bit too much. It's a little too loud. The colors are kind of cool because it's 80s. Like uh, Grand Theft Auto or Vice City. But no. See, this doesn't look that bad. It's dark. But there is a tool on here where you can make your own themes. Like, that looks nice. It's clean. It's minimalistic. It's simple. That's awesome. But there is a tool on here that you can make your own themes if you'd like. It's on the front page of this website. Now, if anybody remembers the uh, Windows 95 or 98 back in the day, unless you always use the Mac. But... That's it for the Vita Shell themes. So, see, that looks good. I mean, it's simple, it's dark. You can see the wording and the colors and stuff like that. So, no problems right there. The movie was pure shit, though. But Margaret Robbie is sexy as hell, though. I'll tell you that much. I'm just going to show you um, the file folder that I downloaded, the one on the right hand side is exactly the same as the files that are on the website. Somebody just renamed them to make it easier. So I just want to show you that the similarities. So back over the Vita, you want to boot up your Vita shell. Once the Vita shell is loaded, I'm going to show you the two default themes from the Vita shell that came with the VPK file, which is default, which I'm on right now. And I'm going to show you the Electron. Those are the two themes. Electron's not bad. But we hit the select button, your FTP will pop up if that's what you want to use to transfer files. Or you have to hit the start and use the USB. But back over to the PC side of things, you want to load up your FTP client, Mayans FileZilla. You want to type in the FTP number in the port and hit quick connect. And as you can tell, you see the branch of files, the file system. You want to go to the UX0. Scroll all the way down to where it reads, let's see, Vita Shell. Double click on that. Then double click on theme or themes. And then you want to find your folder that you just downloaded with the themes for Vita Shell. You want to select all of them, which I didn't do because I left the default um, folder out of transferring the rest of the files over because there's no sense. And 
Electron and Electron Land are exactly the same, which I didn't know about till further on in this video, you'll see. But if you don't like a uh, one of the themes, you can just delete the theme right from the Vita shell itself, which is nice. So this gives this a minute or so. All this thing transfers over. At least uh, all these files are quite small and stuff like that. But I'd love to see some of the uh, users' uh, custom themes if you guys did decide to do this. Just send me a link to the download. I'll check them out. I think that'd be cool. So after that's all said and done and finished. All right, after you transfer the files over from the computer side to the PlayStation Vita's um, memory card, um, come back to the Vita, close out this dialog message. You want to move down to where it says UX, UX0. Scroll all the way down to Vita Shell. Theme. These are the themes we just installed. I didn't do default because default's already in here. Electron is already in here. I believe Electron and Electron Land are both the same. So most likely I'll most likely I'll delete Electron Land. But let's start this puppy up. So we got Electron right now. Default Electron. Let's go to Adam. Takes a good four to five seconds. This is what Adam looks like. A T O M. It's kind of neat. I'm more of a simplistic, minimalistic um, type um, person. I like clean look. This looks a little bit too bombarded for my liking, for my taste, but overall, it's not that bad. Plus, it's nice that the text are different colors. I do like the blue. Looks nice. Let's go to basic. Restart the Vita shell. This is the basic. It's just plain gray. Nothing uh, too fancy. Just clean, simple. This is the blue. It's like five seconds to load. The blue looks really nice. It's going to be a bitch to see on the GoPro. But I like it a lot. Um, the background is um, the symbols, the, uh, the square, the triangle, the X, and the O. So I do like that. It's, this is nice. It's pleasing to the eye, to my eye, actually. It's comfortable. I, I'm a big fan of like darker themes. Like dark colors, because it just, I don't know, for some reason just feels good into my eyes, I guess. I'm not a fan of like bright white, like just a plain white background. Stuff like that it gets a little, uh, it doesn't, I don't like it. Go to Blue Shell. Just what the Blue Shell looks like. Nothing too crazy. Except for that blue line. It's all right, not bad. It's got a chalk. Might be like um, chalkboard of a school. It's not bad. The one thing that comes to mind is the intro to The Simpsons when Bart's writing on the board. Every episode has something totally different as a message. That's what this reminds me of, this chalk. It says homeroom right up top. It's not bad, not bad. It's nice that the uh, text font colors are different. So that's kind of neat. Let's go to dark. The download link will be in the description below as well, like I said. See, this is what I like. I might just keep, a, um, keep the Vita Shell theme dark. Especially when you wake up and stuff like that, if you want to hop onto your Vita and you need to do something, you don't have like a bright background like blinding you. But 
at the very bottom I like that tells you with the start and the select do so this is the dark theme electron land like I said I think yeah this is the same as electron so I'll delete this electron land the wall background wallpaper is the same as the dark it has the uh, different symbols uh, the triangle the square the circle so nothing really to see here electron electron sky let's check this out it's not bad it's a little bright for my liking though but now it has the uh, still the symbols but it's a white background I don't know if you can see that Go, the GoPro is great for some things, but something like up close, it's not that great. Wow, that is bright. Heavens. But I do like how these people like use different color for the text. Let's try light. Eh. It's alright. It's not really, uh... Not really to my liking. Although I do like simplistic things like I just got through saying, but Oh, that's cool. Yes, I'm a dude that doesn't mind pink. Especially on cars like black and pink if you do it right. This is the Matrix. Yeah, the I don't know if the GoPro picks it up, but in the background, it's the um, the matrix um, symbols, I guess, or elite speak and numbers and letters and stuff like that. It's like in the movie The Matrix, how everything um, falls from the top of the screen down. That's what it's. That's what it is. But if you like green and black, which they do go, you might like this, the matrix, or just matrix theme. It's not that bad. Plus the font color is different too. Th through the lens of uh, the GoPro, it looks like it's teal blue, but actually it's um, like surf green, like mint color text. I don't know, maybe the GoPro can pick up certain colors or something. But this is minimalistic shell. Talk about minimalistic, it's just like a black background. It's not bad. Yeah. I did say I like uh, simple things. This is Phalaris shell. I can't even pronounce it. It's just a black background with a bunch of lines going separated. Yeah, it's all right. It's not bad if you like this clean look. Color is different too for the font. This is Stickman. What a weird name. But this is neat. This is different. I give props to whoever made this. It's unique. It's different. It's colorful, I guess you could say. It's not bad. So that's Stickman. Vita Shell OS. Let's check this out. Oh, it's simplistic. Not too bad. Doesn't give you like a tech, like a a legend to tell you like what what certain buttons do. Like the select button brings up the the FTP numbers, or if you had have it set to USB mode, it doesn't bring up the dialog for USBs connected. Yeah, it's all right. It's not bad. Y two K. If anybody remembers, like, the old school Windows computer, how it used to look. It's like Windows 95. It's all right. It's not bad. Ah, the blue screen of death. The font's different as well. It's default. 
Actually, right now I'm going to delete Electron Land since it's the same as Electron. Electron, Atom, Basic. I forgot what Basic looked like. Oh, yes. Basic's nice. It's just dark gray. I think I'm going to keep it on dark. Yeah, I like, I like the dark a lot. But thank you, guys. Um, hopefully this helped. Um, the link for the download link will be in the description below, along with um, some other information. Uh, got any questions, concerns, just ask, and I'll, I'll try to help you guys out. Thank you.